Hey all you people and welcome back into another episode. So, um, I'm just kind of, I've been kind of wandering around here for about 10-ish minutes. Um, I was watching, uh, the, I was watching football. Bengals just lost a very upsetting game. But I was experimenting with some things as I was just standing around here. And I'm thinking about adding this in. It's a bit lighter than I thought it would be. But... I think it's kind of a nice addition. Maybe a bit too light. Hold on. Let's see. If I have a... I don't have a water bucket down here. Of course I don't. It looked nice in the testing world. Because um, I, I did like a tiny section. But as it's there, it feels a little bit... Um, feels a little bit too light, I guess. Like... I have a squid down here no no dang okay um yeah i guess let's look at what this looks like ah dang it <laughs> why are you still here i don't need you <laughs> i've just not destroyed that apparently um yeah let's see what yeah like it stands out a bit uh, nah okay well it was a good idea but it is not working for me at least um let's put you there and you there instead dang that's unfortunate um still probably gonna use this clip quite honestly because i i it's it's important to see the process i'm going through as i'm building things um i will say i do think i need to make this a bit more uh, like this isn't that extreme of a difference between these two, but I'm, I want to be able to like have a mossy patch so that I guess like if I have stuff on the side, then I shouldn't ever have an issue in the center. I don't think. Let's see, five blocks on each side. S shortens to three. Okay, yeah, actually, I don't think I'll have that. I was a bit concerned like with lighting and stuff. Once I start actually lighting up, um, I would need stuff in the middle of the road, but I don't think I will now that I'm thinking about it um yeah because like obviously I have this there and this there um I'll probably cut down a bit of this hill so I can get a light po post or something uh still need to figure out a design for that too but yeah another week another I don't know what I'm doing um yeah <laughs> I may move this down below, um, cause there is a spot I had reserved for it. Um, hold on. Oh, dang it. That's unfortunate. Um, hold on. Oh, I heard a villager get hurt inside the box. Probably from entity cram cramming or something. Um, yeah. I marked it with one of the zombie heads that, uh, because this is one of the small uh, like shortest roofs so i don't want to have anything that can um i don't want to have anything that can go up i guess uh, that has to go up too far because like this one i can keep expanding up as i need i wonder how much it's up to hey that's producing a lot more uh any issues with the bees right now uh no but they just produced honey <laughs> um how's our glass oh dang okay yeah they're running they're starting to run out. Okay, noted. Oh. Um, I'll do with that later. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to maybe expand the zoo a bit just because we only have this one right now. Why are they like so grouped in the back? I'll give them a few more just so that's not just the two of them. I will say every time I see this is so cool to me. The I've never actually experimented with the fog effect at all and. The fact that I was able to um, double up on it, because the way I did it is that I have black stained glass, uh, and then tinted glass. So it just kind of it alternates layers. So I think it's only like four layers or something. It's there's not a lot of layers on this, but yeah, it's just really cool to me. Um, but yeah, gotta figure out something to do. I did it again and rambled for five minutes. <laughs> I was uh, looking in our ender chest I forget what I was looking for originally I honestly don't remember now but I found our good old friend here 
our to-do list. So that one, fully check off, at least for now. Maybe if I can find a better way to do some things in there, then I can add it back. But for right now, that's fully checked off. There's not much more I can do. Uh, we terraform the edge of town. It's it's not like it's perfect. Oop. It's not like it's perfect. Like we do have some instances that are just there where it's just a block up. But I'm okay with this. It is terraformed mostly to the point that I am okay with around the town. Like obviously this hill over here is an exception. But there's also literally a mountain there. So I... I did a little bit, but there's not really all that much I can do. I should probably add an easier way up onto the wall. Oop. Um, but yeah, like I, there's not much better I can do here just because of, oh, hi, how are you today? This is why we have a wall. <laughs> all right. I'm going to be very honest. This is my third attempt at doing this. Somehow it has failed twice before. But, I know what we're doing today. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, Valera and I talked about it a bit, but it seems like I'm the only one that really plays here, which is unfortunate. On here, which is unfortunate. But, um, we wanted to get at least something at spawn so that people could um, not you know, have to deal with deadly spawn. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build out like a little, like welcome to spawn and stuff thing. It won't be too elaborate, I don't think, but yeah, I think I, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I put everything of my stuff in the chest here so that I didn't have to deal with going all the way back. But yeah, so what happened the first time uh, what happened was I, hold on, all right, there we go, uh, the first time I jumped off and, uh, it, I destroyed the bed I slept in, but then I replaced it in the same spot, so for some reason it didn't count as my respawn point being destroyed, which was weird to me, um, then the second time I jumped down and landed in the water, <laughs> and then that was the third time, which finally worked. <laughs> So yeah, that took me three tries. But anyway, yeah, uh, I'm. I need to go get resources and stuff. The main point of that was just so that um, I could mark the exact spot where you spawn in, which is right here, right there. But yeah, I think this will be a nice thing to do. Um, so that I'm not, especially because I, I'm the only one who I, I think actually has an extra elytra in my ender chest. Um, which is solely in case if I die without a respawn point, I can hurry back. But, yeah, hopefully it'll, like, keep it safer so that people are not fighting for their lives the second they respawn, like, back, what, episode 2 or 3, whenever that was, that, that happened to me. <laughs> This building took me far, far longer than I expected it to take. Um, I will say roofs are something I struggle with, so I know the roof isn't all that great there. But uh, yeah, this thing took me far longer to make than I expected it would. I started it probably about part of the way through the later slate of NFL games, and NFL's done. <laughs> But yeah, so what I did is just built the outside, uh, you head inside, and we have a nice little nether portal in the back here. Uh, I, I finally made use of those like custom portals. And then south towards Skies and Valero. I don't have anything on the north yet, just because the people that live in the north don't seem to be on that often. Um, but yeah, finally made use. Uh, I did figure out that these have to be at least 10 blocks, but... They can be anything after that. Like, I, let's see. We have 14 blocks, right? Yeah. So, let's build, like, mm, uh, 
do that, 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 that. And I believe this should let us light this. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is kind of cool. We haven't really made use of it yet. Um, originally, I was going to have like a couple accents on the top up here. So I have like two portals running there and there. It was just too much, I think. Um, I started to get it done. It just kind of felt like too much. Um, not to mention if someone ac accidentally like flies into one of them and activates them, that would just be a pain. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this obsidian is going to take me a while to get, um, I kind of like it. Uh, I did keep that little plant up there intact that we planted at the start. I took down the majority of trees just because it is, uh, just, they, they were causing a lot of cover and I also had to use them a lot more than I was expecting, uh, for the build. <laughs> I was replaying. Oh, hi there. Why are you so close to me? Don't be so close to me. Alright, um, yeah, I was using them a lot more than I expected, but I think what I'm going to do is light up the rest of this island and, oh hi, uh, light up the rest of this island I'm going to head home, I think, because it's maybe, like, head home in-game and then leave in real life to go eat dinner, because I am hungry. <laughs> I have been doing a lot of flying around. I think I went a couple thousand blocks just so I could expedite the sugarcane that I needed, but... We are finally able to get two name tags. So, you are Maxwell, and you are Jennifer. And you can now be released back out into the village now that it is safe. Enjoy your newfound freedom outside of my house slash shop. <laughs> uh, but yes, I just... I. Now that it's finally safe, they can now leave. Um, I will say I did not call this out. I did extend the path around here just because it looked kind of weird on the map. Hey, you're already back to your doings. Good job, Max. And so, now that I have finally gotten name tags for the original two, I believe it is finally time. Oh, uh, he's chilling. I kind of, I'm going to see what happens when I push this first. <laughs> How many was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And now... <laughs> oh no, I'm lost. Okay. I'm still lost. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I got into a corner. Okay. They're all starting to flood out. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I have no idea what noise I was. <laughs> so many of them there is so many of them oh no <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. hopefully they'll disseminate into the village if not I don't know what I have to do to get them over there <laughs> how many of them are there oh no what have I done the humanity oh but there's still one in here I did notice that they started to take the beds over here in the breeder, yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, actually, because I think that... Oh, shoot. That's an issue. Um, I do... I think that... If I get rid... Oh. Okay, maybe I... Oh, hi! Oh, my! <laughs> oh, my! Okay. 
This is gonna be a lot more work than I anticipated. <laughs> it's just so funny. Alright, so if you watch my um, NCAA series, I, I kind of talked about this. I'll probably... Honestly, if you watch the Pokemon one, you, I probably will too. I have not recorded that one yet. Um, but yeah, I have not really recorded in a week. <laughs> in fact, like turning my computer on yesterday was the first time I've turned it on for to actually like do something that was not school related <laughs> in a week. So yeah, um, I've been working on getting some of these guys over here. Some of them are maneuvering themselves. But I have made... Ooh, we do have a cleric again, which is always nice. Um, we'll trade that rot... We'll, we have a ton of rotten flesh that we can level him up with. Anyway, um, I've been trying to get these guys over here. Some of them are migrating themselves, but I kind of just have like a rail system that plops them right here. Uh, what I'm doing is like I put them in a boat, push a minecart over the boat, and move them here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there is a huge contingency that also likes my shop, which honestly kind of like adds to the aesthetic. I think we have a lot of fishermen just, yeah, here we go. Here's the, here's the loves the shop group. Um, we have a decent amount of fishermen just because I have a ton of barrels inside my shop. Um, I did finally get rid of like the sleep timer over here because they were sleeping in this bed and... So there was, there's not a point in me having this bed as like a timer thing anymore because I'm not sleeping in it with a t uh, with on like a time based schedule anymore. The villagers have taken that from me. Um, where's I going with recording this? I have no clue. I just, I think I just needed to record a clip. Like yeah, I'm back. Um, they are starting to migrate. However, I am noticing, and you can see it there, but also, yeah, th there's still a ton over here, to be clear. But I have an idea for how to resolve that problem. Um, if we go in here. Oh, okay. I thought I was free falling there. Um, if we go in here. Hey, bud. Um, we can come upstairs. And notice something a bit annoying, not annoying, I don't know the word. We have a lot of space here that is just empty. Like, once you get past there, we have this and that's it. That's going to be moved underground, so that's even more empty space. Um, we have all this up here. We have a bit over here, bit up front here. I probably am going to have something done with, like, more the front of the casino. But... Yeah, we have a lot of, like, empty room and stuff that we need to build up this village for. Um, they have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 total houses. That is not an adequate number of houses for... Hold on. <laughs> 10 houses is not sufficient for... This, <laughs> this, this, 10 houses does not support this. One, two, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. We have 10 houses. There is not near enough, like, living stuff for all these villagers to migrate over in the first place. There's not enough workstations. Like, we don't need to provide, like, each and every single one with stuff but the village is kind of empty for the number of villagers there now are so i think that um honestly i have no idea how long this episode is actually turning out to be it's probably going to be a longer one just because i haven't had an episode in two weeks but i think um that yeah i think that we need to like start building out more thing more houses and stuff um, maybe get some districts set up just in the city just so that we can, just so that we don't have 
40 villagers congregating at my house. 40 of them way over there still not moving over. There, there's not enough here for the for the current population. So yeah, um, let's get started on that, I think. Maybe, depending on how much time this episode has been. Over the span of editing, it's been a long video to edit. There's so, I have so many clips and stuff. I had to cut a ton of stuff, too, just because literally anything from, I guess, 10, 10 to 10, 22 is, footage I have is fair game, which there is just straight up a seven-day gap, but... It's still a lot, it was still a lot of footage, and one of the replay videos I have didn't, um, I, I think I may have, like, placed an event marker back at, um, back at spawn, and so I'd have to find my way in replay from spawn to my base, so, yeah, uh, not gonna figure that out, uh, I will just show you what I did, I built this, these nice two little houses here. Uh, this one is basically our library. Um, who are you? Sharpness 4. Okay, I need to figure out which podium is yours and get rid of it. But yeah, so I built this nice house here. And uh, I also built this one. We have a good friend in here who has mending. I'm pretty sure it's for cheaper than Valero has too. So, But yeah, we gave him his own house. I'll probably light it up better uh and i also got this book from one of these villagers i don't know where he is but got that book from him but yeah it's a long episode so next episode i can get to building more roads and building more buildings around here actually giving these people a place to sleep because there is how many there's like 10 there not 10 right there but like 10 around there however many there are here at a certain point I s I do still have this bike cart track but I've kind of give it up um hopefully as soon as I start building the village more towards this direction they will start their like village detection whatever will realize that it extends all the way out there that's the hope anyway right now but yeah um yeah anyway if you like this episode, um, make sure to, to subscribe so that you say, oh, <laughs> nice little glass hitbox. Uh, make sure to subscribe so that you can stay uh, up to date with it. If you really liked it, please leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Uh, people who leave comments get into my Pokemon videos, so that's always a that's always a good bonus. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.